Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 26th, 27th, 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is a general reading. Now, you know when I am reading for the weekend, I am using my two Radley Valentine decks. I am using my, my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job? Just deliver the message. Now, um, remember this weekend we have something going on. Remember, Venus is in Aries right now. It will be conjunct with Aries also, so there's a little bit of a of a, um, you know, um, stronger push with relationships. Venus, there's more of a mission. There's more of a focused, um, almost like maybe even looking at some of the relationships under maybe a little more of a microscope even. Now, we also have then on the 28th, we have the full moon in Libra. That's at, 20, at 6.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be a, a trine, so, you know, there's a grand trine going on. It's very lucky. It could even be very uh, magical. There could be some strong manifestations happening at that time also. The full moon in Libra will be trining with Saturn in Aquarius, Jupiter in Aquarius, and Mars in Gemini. So we've got all of the, you know, we have... Eight, you know, we have Aquarius, Libra, and we have um, Gemini. So expect, you know, expect, you know, I mean, expect the unexpected. It kind of goes back to that, um, you know, Uranus and Taurus. But this is, this could be some shockers, but this could be very magical. And this could be very um, welcome at this time also. Remember, new moon to full moon, as it is getting bigger, it's called waxing, and that is, you know, a time for you to request. Full moon to new moon, as it gets smaller, is waning. That is when you release. The full moon, and you can do this like two to three days before, day of, two to three days after. The full moon is when you release, relinquish, and request. Now, I'm always saying, write it down, you know, write it down, put it on the refrigerator, but because of all the air energy, remember to speak it out. Okay? Okay. So, let's begin our readings now. Hello, my Libras. How are you? Well, I want this to be a great weekend for you because this is your Libra moon, your full moon. And you've got the grand trine around it. Um, you know, so much energy there. You know, you have Aquarius and... Um, well, what, Jupiter and Saturn is in Aquarius. You have Gemini. Lots and lots of really positive air energy for you. So this, you know, just enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the weekend and don't let anyone... Oh, okay, we had that one reversed. Don't let anyone rain on your parade, okay? Okay. So here we go. Three cards. This one's reversed. This has strong energy, so just watch for it. Now, we have the Knight of Air. So, Knight's underlying energy is fire. That's Aries. We're in Aries. It's also Leo and Sagittarius. Passionate, burning, determined. Air energy, though, is your energy. Okay? It is also Aquarius. It is also Gemini energy. It is just going to carry you through. So, this feels very optimistic. This feels like... Very quick plan, you know, quick, um, quick weekend. So the way, you know, you, you started on a Friday and then on, you know, Monday you're like, oh my gosh, where did the weekend go? There's a lot of um, um, having it, you know, having fun during the weekend too. There's a lot of celebration type of energy here also. But the night is also about hearing some news that could possibly, I'm feeling possibly lead you into some travel. Now, it could be some short travel, it could be some weekend travel, but I feel like you're going to hear some news that will lead you into some sort of a travel situation. Now, I do feel that, um, you know, nights are directional, they do move forward, they're not letting you stagnate, they're not letting you sit at home, 
um, it's saying, get on the horse, let's ride, let's ride. Anyway, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Now, you do have the opportunity, you do have the option, the choice to say no, but I do feel that um, this is actually something that's going to be a lot of fun for you, okay? It's going to be a lot of fun, it, and you're, you know, it's going to be kind of like, I kind of feel like, um, you know, like maybe you walk in the door, um, pick up the phone. I know we all have cell phones, but it's kind of like you pick up the phone, and then you just got to grab your bag and get on the move again. Anyway, let's see what this card is. High Priestess, Archangel Heniel. Now, we have a two, so we have some choices there. So we have some decisions. Archangel Heniel, remember, we, you know, we reach out to higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever it is, you need a little help, Archangel Heniel, they're sending you. High Priestess, now High Priestess is the one that has that spiritual connection with, that, with the supernatural realm. Now, we also have that full moon that is this weekend, and it is your weekend, okay? It is your full moon. So there could be some really strong psychic insights coming to you. Those just those, you know, and again, I'm going to say that you will know the difference between intuition and wishful thinking. Many times, you know, that's not always easy. You know, many times it's like, is this wishful thinking or is this intuition? In fact, I would say that many of you will already have your bags packed because I just kind of feel like you're just, you know, like whatever this change is, you're just ready to go and um, you, you knew it was coming. And if you don't have the bag packed, you know exactly what you want to put into it. But this is listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. This is your full moon, and there's a lot of power, a lot of manifestation energy around it. Anyway, here we go. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Your last card here, unity. Unity. Now we have a five. Five has some change. Okay? Can be positive, could be negative, could be neutral. It's change. Change is change is change. And, you know, it doesn't always feel comfortable. And like, you know, and there might be some change because maybe whatever this is, you might have to go against, a, go up against a wall. I don't know who or what the wall is. Maybe you have to make some changes with your work situation or somebody that you live with, something like that. But it's kind of like, no, we got to make some, you know, hey, got to make some changes here. Now, Archangel Sandalfin believed to have been Elijah, a great prophet. So the, uh, the prophet, the prophetic, also goes along with that high priestess. So listen to your gut. And I'm going to say, you know, you might be, and I'm kind of getting this thing where, you know, like it's like somebody, you know, you're like, no, I need to go now. I need to leave now. And somebody's telling you, well, you know what, if you can leave Tuesday or maybe you can leave on Friday, it'll be better, da, da, da. If your gut, I, I, you know, if your gut's telling you to leave, leave. If your cuts, if your gut is telling you, you might have somebody come, up, you know, come and tell you, well, it would be better if you did this, you know, and and, and it's kind of, you know, to me, it's 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 kind of like that um, that piece of sand in the oyster, you know, and it's just kind of a little bit of an irritant. It's kind of like. I'm telling you I need to do this now. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going on your trip. Remember, trips are also movement, movement trips, um, promotions, you know, things, you know, changing. So you're kind of like, I'm telling you I need to do this now. You're telling me I can't, or you're telling me this would be better. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in what you are feeling, okay? And you know what? If you make a mistake and it would have been better, so what? Because what if you what if you don't make the mistake? What if it you know what if you needed to do whatever this is? This sense of urgency, this sense of movement, you know, and you and you listen to somebody else. Okay? Okay. Anyway. I also too, I've gotten unity a couple of times during all the readings. Well, not for every reading, but unity. Sometimes um, I can get a calm acceptance, but sometimes I get a little rebel here. I kind of feel a little rebellious against this. So Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded 
friends. So if you need to pull some people in that kind of say, hey, Libra, you got, yeah, no, I agree with you. Do this, do that, okay? If you need to have some backup, get your backup, okay? Okay. Anyway, because that knight of air wants to move. Wants to move and wants you to move. And, and oh, that's interesting. Now, those, that was very interesting. Anyway, here we go. The five of Raphael. So fives again, change. Raphael is water energy. That is our Cancer, our Scorpio, our Pisces energy. Um, you know, this is this is kind of like saying, you know, you got it. You know, it, it's the five of Raphael is is kind of saying things change. Things change. You know. Sometimes you have to leave behind something to go to something else. Sometimes the something else is unknown and you just don't know what it is. Okay, so here we go. Five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So again, part of it is I feel like this. There's an emotional commitment, emotional involvement, I should say, and you're not necessarily, like I said, with unity, I, many times I feel there's a little rebellious here. And it's kind of like saying, you know, hey, if you feel like something has to, like you've got to do something, trust your instincts. Do what you need to do, even if it doesn't make sense. Okay? This one is reversed. Here we are. We have the three of Michael. Michael is air energy again. And, you know, threes have the power of three. Threes have a lot of outcome type of energy. You know, it could be something that happens that leads to really wonderful things, to maybe some sadness, to, but it helps you to move forward. It, threes do help you to move forward, okay? And this is, again, air energy. And this is, again, there is, again, I'm going to go with this, some of that, don't do what you always did, okay? Okay. It, it's don't do what you always did because otherwise it's trust yourself even if it doesn't necessarily make sense now this would be good stuff around the full moon also it talks about release the past you will grow from this situation time heals all wounds and remember that full moon release what's holding you back relinquish what you don't need anymore and then request and also to do it speak it out okay okay so let's see. Yeah, there, there's, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel packing bags. I feel, oh, okay. And what crystal or energy? Here we are. Oh, oh. Here we go. Sapphire. Channeled wisdom. Psychic ability. This is very true here. Self-expression. Destiny. So... It really is going to be very important. I do feel it's important for you to trust yourself and to trust any of the um, messages or your gut feelings this week. Even if people don't necessarily understand it, you might have to break away from their, you know, from from their thoughts and maybe, you know, and also, like I said, trust yourself. Even if it sounds silly, even if it feels silly. Like I said, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, you made a mistake and... You might have to say you were right, but if you're right, which I kind of feel you're right, then, you know, things will work out that much better for you. And it feels good. It does feel good. So, my Libras, my Libras, I hope you like the reading. Please remember the likes, the shares, the subscribe button. It does help. More importantly, my Libras, please know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.